Welcome to the Mindy Paul Show, the podcast where we discuss mind, money, business and manifestation all in one mic. Having worked with business owners, CEOs and executives in industries from accountants, lawyers, dentists, coaches, consultants and even Hollywood producers, just to mention a few from across the globe on how to earn more and work less and attract an abundance of your dream clients. Now their circumstances may differ, but my message remains the same. You've got so far doing things your way. Now if it's not working your way, why not try someone else's way that's been proven to work? So what do you say? Are you ready to give mine a shot? Hey, welcome back to the Mindy Paul Show. So I want to talk today about something really important. It's something to do with money. You know, we, we get taught so many things about money. You shouldn't talk about money. You shouldn't want more money. Don't be greedy. Be happy with what you got. You shouldn't, you, you know, you, sh- you shouldn't be chasing money. But here's the thing. I love, listen, I love money, right? It's not that I love money. I love what I can do with the money. Now, when I was broke, I wasn't able to do nothing. I wasn't able to take care of my own needs, let, about, let alone somebody else's needs. So I'm, I'm really big into giving now. You know, I always tell myself, like, whenever I become successful, I want to start giving more. Even when I wasn't, when I didn't have any money, I'd always give somebody the odd tenner. If I see someone begging, I'd give them a fiver or a tenner, whatever I had in my pocket. And I would always want to help people. And so I was always fascinated by people that donate big amounts of money, like to charities and stuff. And I thought, what a great thing to do. Like, you know, think about, we've got so many um, misconceptions about money. We get taught so much negative stuff about money. The money's the root of all evil. Uh, don't be greedy. Rich people are scum. Um, lots of things about, think about some of the things that you've heard about wealthy people and what they think about money um, and what you've been taught about people with money. They must have conned someone to get there. You hear terms like filthy rich. Um, um, fucking, there's loads of terminology that you use like filthy rich. Um, I can't even think of any, lots of different stuff, right? And um, we get taught so much about bad about money. We never get taught about how good money is. In school, there was never a lesson about money, how good money is and what money allows you to do. Like money is a currency for exchange. Back in the olden days, you know, they would, you'd, you'd trade with animals, you'd trade with like goats, give me a goat and I'll give you like fucking four chickens, you know, but then, then it changed, it become monetary, then it become like gold, silver, then from there it went to like coin, uh, actual coins, notes, and now it's all like digital. But here's, here's one thing, look, we all go to work for money, you know, when you don't get a pay rise, you're pissed, when someone doesn't pay you what they owe you, you're pissed. But why can't you talk about wanting more money? So I'm really big now into like donating lots of money to charity. In fact, um, last year I donated well over 100,000 bucks to different charities, different causes, um, different schools, temples, um, uh, food banks, people that um, needed like medical treatment, all sorts of things. And one thing I do is I share my donations. Now I share them publicly with so on my social media with my followers. And why do I do that? You know, people say, well, look at him, he's, he's, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be giving so, like, you know, you give in secret. I'm like, listen, I want to inspire people. Just this morning, because I started to do that, one of my clients this morning, he actually donated a large sum of, um, well, low, low, large, large amount of food to a local food bank. Because he saw my donations, he saw how good it was, and that got him doing things as well. Lots of my clients are doing this now. They start to donate to, like, good causes. And why is it such a bad thing to do? sharing on social media that you're you're doing this good stuff but you know what people can share who they're shagging right people can share all sorts of different things like i've got you know like they talk about the illnesses they talk about their diseases they talk about like um who they're having a feud with and and what happened oh my car got burgled and all negative shit you can share the negative shit but you can't share the good stuff you can't share that why not what's so wrong with that I want you to challenge yourself. What's so wrong about firstly talking about money? Money is the second most important thing next to oxygen. Because listen, without money, what can you actually do? Not a lot, right? I'm here in the studio. I'm filming, um, reaching more people, helping more people, serving more people. Now, if I didn't have enough money to hire this studio, if I didn't have enough money to buy my camera, hire my camera guy, what impact could I make? Now, if I can't... um, produce enough income to like uh, help my family, feed my family, warm, put them in warm clothing at home. That's not good either, is it? So the more money we have, the the better we can do with it, the more we got to do with it. Money makes you more of who you are. You know, if you're a good person, you get more money, you're going to be even a better person. If you're, um, if you're not very, if you're not a, a very nice person, 
the more money you have, you're going to become a bigger ass, a bigger dick, right? So that's what's going to happen. So I want to encourage you, I want to educate you on the importance of, of being okay with wanting more money. Okay, there's nothing wrong with you wanting a bigger house, driving a nicer car, or maybe two, or having nicer clothes. You are entitled to live the way you want to live. And if money is something that you need to do that, you it's your responsibility, it's your duty to uh, to create as much as that as you can. So I have amazing people like, you know, when I'm when I'm making a donation, I get so much love. I get so many good good emails coming through, messages, Mindy, that's so great, and that's inspired me. And because you've done that. I've done this and th this is happening and I'm encouraging people and creating a movement. So I want to share something with you. I woke up, I woke up to a message. It's so funny on, on, um, on, on one of my um, pages. I don't normally like monitor all my pages. So I just happened to open up this message. I'm not going to mention the person's name and Saturday, 6.32 AM. I'll see this message. It says here, try and donate in secret. That is a true way to donate. What your left hand gives, your right hand shouldn't even know about it. When you tell everyone you're donating, it defeats the purpose of donating. That's my knowledge. So listen to my reply. So I said, I replied back. I don't normally reply back, but I thought, you know what? I said, I'm afraid that you've been misinformed. Answer this. How does it defeat the purpose? Are you telling me that because I've shared with the world what I've given, it's just not going to make a difference to where I donated it to? You know, so if I give enough money to feed, let's say a thousand people, are you telling me that they won't get fed because I've shared it? So if you want to give me some advice, I said, let me give you some advice right back. Okay. So I said, if you want to give me advice, let me give you some advice right back. Keep your advice to yourself. Okay. Now that's got to be the craziest thing I've heard. I don't know where you got your knowledge from, but you need to change the way you're thinking, my friend. So... Then she says back, look, it's from my pranic healing sessions and I was only trying to help. But all good, you've taken it the wrong way. She had that nerve to tell me I've taken it the wrong way. So it's mentioned in many religious books too. It says it says it to get into any, it says it anyway. So she says, um, um, not getting into any arguments, just sharing info. I said, look, don't tell me what is true. What is the true way to donate? What are you trying to help with? I said, listen. Tell me what difference does it make if I share my donation? Are you willing to tell people won't benefit from the amount I've given? You need to learn some lessons around the laws of money, I said to her. I'm not getting into an argument. I'm carrying on. I'm gonna, I will carry on giving, making a difference and inspiring. You may want to reevaluate some of your ideas that you have around money. And I promise you'll have even more. Have a super day. Wow. So much anger, she says. All good, Mindy. And I'm like, it's not anger, lol. It's just me being straight up. Okay. Okay, cool. So I just said, listen, seriously, I'm saying this from love. A lot of things that people read and misinterpret. Anyway, going into that, you know, so people like judging me, telling me what to do and what not to do. The most wealthiest people in the world are the biggest givers. So if I'm giving with a good, clean intention to help and serve people, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with sharing the good that I'm doing? I'm happy I'm in the position to do this because I always wasn't. But I'm happy to inspire other people to make change and really understand the importance of money. So think about that. What are you doing with your money? Are you hoarding it? That's not a good thing either, right? So money is here to circulate. We've got to circulate money. We're, we're not here to hoard it. Because look, when we go from this earth, the money ain't going to belong to us. The government will take it or whoever's going to take it, spunk it all up. So why not do some good with some of the money that we've got? Why not start to educate your children about the importance of money and uh, on all the good all the good stuff that you can do with money? Think of like all the good stuff that if you had more money, all the different people that you can impact in a positive way. People talk about, you know, I want to retire my parents. OK, you need to produce more income. If you, On one hand, people are going to make more sales. You want to attract more clients. You want to attract more business. You want to accumulate more money. But on the other hand, you've got this um, bad feeling about money. Money's not good. Money's the root of all evil. Be happy with what, got, with what you got. Don't be greedy. So how can you attract something that you resent? You can't attract that. If you resent that, if you've got some bad ideas around money, you will never attract enough of it. I want you to really understand that you will never become someone that you resent. So give with an open heart. Be okay to give. Be okay to share. Make a difference because money, we can make a difference with money. Like if you're running a business, why not just put a little bit aside every single month just so you can make a contribution, make a difference to different charities. It might be a, it, it might be an orphanage. You know, just like recently, I, sh I made a little donation to an orphanage in India. A good friend of mine was um, doing some work out there and 
I just popped him like 5,000 bucks, but it made a world of difference. 33 kids were going to be put through school with that money, right? They get, they get, they get fed, they got put into a school. So what about that? Now think about 33 children. How much difference could you make with a small donation? It could be like a simple hundred bucks. It will make a difference. You know, we can all come together and eradicate poverty, but we know it's not going to happen. But it doesn't mean that we shouldn't try. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't share and inspire other people to do the same. So why not make a donation and, and share it with the public? Hey, listen, I've just found this good cause and I'm contributing to it. I'm donating to it. I'm supporting it. Why not share your support for these good causes? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Listen, don't be ashamed to, to do that. You know, I heard this from somebody else that, like, you know, you, you should give um, in silence. OK, you can give in silence. If you give in silence or you give and you tell people that you're giving from inspiration, it doesn't uh, do any uh, any harm. It doesn't like... Um, uh, have a reverse effect on on what you're donating you, if you're donating from a good heart from a good space with good intention that's the only thing that matters you're not donating to just show off i mean who actually donates just to sort of show off i show i i share i donate to inspire to encourage to make a movement to say to people hey listen it's okay to share to give okay so give with an open heart give with a clean heart with good intention go to make an impact with your money don't just hoard it because once we get into this circle of like um circulating the money, it comes back. But you got to you you don't give to get. You give to give. If you ever got to like think about giving, shall I give it? Shall I not? Shall I give it? Don't do it because you're not giving. You're you're trading. So when you give, just give with um through impulse, through like um. Just just give with an open heart and abundance. Don't ever expect nothing back. You know people give when you give to ask for something back. You're not giving. That's not the true art of giving. Giving is when you give without expecting anything in return. When you give from your heart to make a difference, that's the real um, that's the real giving, right? So I want to encourage you all to give more. You know, don't be afraid to share it. Don't be afraid to share it with your socials if you're giving. Like one of my clients say, he just donated a whole van load of food. He came to me, he could, he was barely, he wasn't making any money in huge amounts of debt, so I helped him. So he seen me give with an open heart and and he, he said, Mindy, I want to do this as well. I said, well, do it. So now he just donated a whole big van of food to a local food bank. He sent me a video and I asked him for his permission. Can I share it with some other people? He said, yeah, you can. So he's doing that because he got the inspiration from me. He, he saw what I was doing and it makes him so much happier. Now he's doing lots of that. Not just him. And he's inspiring other people saying a bad thing. Right. So I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Mindy Paul Show. If you'd like to keep the conversation going, be sure to check out the show notes where you can find helpful links to learn how to reach your personal and professional success. Thank you again. Until next time.